Progress versus history. It's a balance many older neighborhoods deal with often, but Little Italy is finding success in preserving the past. 3 News Now reporter Jake Wazkowski explains how. Jake? Well, Jen, we've seen older buildings torn down to make room for something more modern to revitalize the area. One local group says they understand progress is important, but so is the neighborhood's history. South 10th Street in Little Italy is creating a buzz like it did decades ago. Back in the 1800s, it was where Omaha's elite settled before the city's expansion. And nowhere else is that exhibited like the Cornish Mansion and Worthington Mansion. So he built this house in the late 1880s. Brian Whetstone with Restoration Exchange Omaha has helped get the designations to preserve the area's history. This is the little entrance lobby of the Cornish Mansion. This week, both mansions are approved for the landmark heritage preservation ordinance by the Omaha City Council. It's another layer of protection to keep the buildings from being torn down if they were sold to a developer. Uh, right now, South 10th Street is experiencing a lot of development and it's coming under the eye of a lot of developers. Um, it's getting a lot denser and it's important that we make sure that these buildings are kept even as the surrounding area is developed. Just down the block, a new modern housing unit sits where the Johnston Mortuary Building used to be. Councilman Chris Jerram, who represents Little Italy, says it's nice to see the quality of work that's there now, but bitter to lose a structure like that. When the neighborhood uh, went through a recent development and lost the old Johnston Mortuary historic uh, building, it, it, there became a sense of urgency that if there were other uh, grand stately old structures that could be preserved through landmark designation that they wish to pursue that. Councilman Jerem says neighborhoods asked him to pursue a historic pre-demolition review ordinance back in 2016, but it was unsuccessful in passing through the council. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. New at 6, the tornado that roared